Plaskin tumor is rather a difficult disease, though it's a rare uh, one. And uh, uh, these patients are rather uh, severe. And the zone is pretty uh, delicate. A majority of uh, uh, patients uh, have chronic uh, uh, cholangitis, so the carcinoma in Gylos um, era is usually G2 or a G3 tumor with a low or moderate differentiation. Only 25% of patients a quarter are resectable. Uh, one's uh, survival median uh, doesn't exceed 40 months, and five-year survival doesn't exceed 30%. Uh, at R0 resections, uh, the relapse of disease happens in 50-70% of um, uh, cases. Um, with palliative treatment, the medial survival is, uh, if it's a local advanced uh, tumor, no more than 17 months, and if it's metastatic, um, 10. That's the topical info about the disease from the United States. In 15 years, 4,300 patients who were diagnosed, only 6% had surgery in the biggest centers of the country dealing with the issue. Five years survival was only in 49 patients. That's 1% of all the patients only. Uh, while the selection was rather strict, nearly healthy patients with somatic state of zero and two were selected with no bioactivity of tumor, with no aggressiveness of tumor, and uh, regional lymph nodes uh, had lesions only in 15% and R1 resection was only done in 17% of our cases. All the patients um, had no non-controlled cholangitis, which again made the surgery more uh, successful uh, for the fate of the other thousands of patients is rather doubtful. The problem is uh, difficult. In 90% of cases, uh, there's a mechanic, um, um, well, there's a hepatitis and there's a cholangitis, a chronic elapsing cholangitis. Um, uh, we do the transcutaneous uh, uh, draining intervention or uh, stunting. Um, anastomosis digestive, uh, that's uh, to uh, stop the jaundice. And uh, according to the eight randomized uh, uh, trials, uh, the um, uh, transcutaneous uh, at Klaskin are uh, uh, tumors at maximum blocks uh, for, to stop cholangitis. The most efficient is if it's done uh, transcutaneously and uh, transhepatic. Um, Intervention. This methodology improves palliative and interventions. There may be photodynamic therapy, brachytherapy, and radiotherapy. As of today, we have the experience of our center, and we do not contradict us to this method. We often use combinations of different methods. This slide is about non-effective endoscopic uh, drainage. Patients often can't uh, stop a specific uh, uh, treatment due to the early inadequate uh, trans liver or endoscopic intervention. Some 80% of patients require correction of these uh, previous interventions of uh, drainage due to uh, permanently relapsing cholangitis. Uh, up to three months is the waiting time for specific treatment. In this time, uh, there's biliary cirrhosis formed in patients, and uh, uh, thus their prospects are pretty uh, limited, and opportunities of treatment of such patients are limited as well. Since they have a high bilirubin, even at normal uh, drainage. Uh, later, left picture, you see the plastic stunt installed. It doesn't do its uh, work. Um, the biliary ducts are expanded. There's cholangitis. The stunt was replaced for a wider one uh, with a bigger diameter. However, cholangitis continued, and only the stent and transcutaneous access uh, uh, cholangial drainage enabled uh, patients to avoid cholangitis and to start specific treatment. Quite often, uh, patients come in such a condition when there's drainage migration that took place. It's not because initially it was done incorrectly. Of course, it was done correctly. Um, and in urgent hospitals, they managed to stop jaundice, but later they stay with the problem 
and after a while they come to a specialized hospital with such inadequately installed uh, drainage due to the fact of migration and this penetration into the abdomen cavity. Uh, thus, some efforts are necessary to make drainage normal, to install two internal uh, drainages, and to start a specific uh, treatment. The difficulties are related to a number of other factors. That's, insta uh, that's uh, diagnostics, non-specific symptoms. Uh, jaundice is the main one. Uh, Community tomography and MRI are made after the uh, draining, and they create a big number of artifacts. Uh, so you can't really find the margins of the tumor and um, uh, find correct treatments for such patients. There are a big uh, technical difficulties regarding the morphology uh, diagnosis of the uh, disease. First, uh, endoscopic metal stent was installed in these patients. Uh, it stopped functioning. Uh, they tried to remove it. Uh, thus, um, it was a fragmented part of the stunt inside, uh, lef was left inside the duct. Uh, then it was incorrectly installed uh, transcutaneously. This caused uh, chronic cholangitis, uh, absence of um, uh, drainage, uh, and disregarding the two uh, details, we can't um, um, improve the uh, drainage. Our experience is 125 patients. Um, in the majority of cases, they had mechanical jaundice. Um, this disease, that's how the disease um, uh, manifested. Just 3% of patients had no jaundice. Morphology verified uh, in 31% of cases. Take a look at GX uh, figure, 26 patients. Uh, that's cytology conducted. Uh, that doesn't enable to do the deep morphology analysis of tumor. Hence, we can't do prospective treatment. Um, in our center, 51% were verified at first stage. GX was uh, high, cytology, and uh, brush biopsy, and uh, that uh, ship um, uh, pinch biopsy wasn't uh, yet mastered. Now we do a uh, pinch biopsy to all the uh, patients. Uh, in the beginning, uh, not all the tools were available for 18% of patients. Um, at uh, present, a uh, transcutaneous uh, CT is uh, used to assess the tumor widely. We can visualize uh, the point where uh, this the most of the tumor mass, uh, and uh, usually we get the morphological confirmation of that. Uh, later, I'll tell you more about the opportunities of optic coherent tomography. Of course, brush biopsy is simple, but it has low sensitivity and no deep analysis. Um, thus, um, we've mastered a uh, pinch biopsy uh, technique. It's a bit more complicated, but has higher sensitivity and gives more opportunities um, to uh, study the obtained materials. You can do the gistochemical analysis, determine the PD and PD01, and later determine the following treatment. Uh, that's how optic coherent tomography enables, uh, helps us. Um, patient 56, Klaskin tumor, colongiography, central picture, according to Vismut R3B uh, in the uh, biliary duct, but the tomography, see the red arrow, uh, bottom left picture. Tumor mass is in the distal part of the general um, hepatic duct. So it's a general continuum. Uh, this diagnosis is uh, verified. Uh, we used the optic uh, coherent tomographer at the left lobe. There was no um, uh, tumor mass at biopsy from this point. Uh, the gistology conclusion was that it's a fibrous uh, tissue. So it's not bismuth 3B, but bismuth uh, 2. So he had a surgery. We had 125 patients subdivided in the following way. Mainly it was photodynamic therapy together with regenerative chemotherapy, 53% in number of patients who we managed to bring down the bioactivity, uh, plus a uh, lower somatic status of our patients. 27 patients had uh, surgery. Two had liver transportation due to the developed biliary cirrhosis, disregarding the well done adequate uh, drainage. We uh, couldn't do uh, regional patient uh, th uh, therapy, so only photodynamic therapy was done. Symptomatic treatment uh, for 17 uh, patients only. 
combination of photodynamic and uh, therapy and original chemotherapy in 53 patients from one to seven courses. Average number of courses is four. And it's as false. We do first the photodynamic therapy, intravenous radiochlorinous, uh, uh, 24 hours before uh, the FDT, photodynamic therapy. And then we uh, do it with uh, our drainage and a day later. If there is no cholangitis, there's a regenerate uh, chemo infosis um, either uh, via the uh, bile, uh, sorry, hepatic artery or via the abdomen um, ablection. Well, we managed to uh, recanalize the tumor structure. Then uh, we've uh, uh, imp installed uh, the LAD. Uh, then uh, the probe is moved to the healthy part of the ducts so that there's no loss of laser energy and so that all the tumor must may get the photodynamic therapy. The result, overall survival median is 17.6 m uh, months, 36 patients are alive, 15 patients uh, died, average life span is 17 months. That's not the final result of ours. Some patients are still alive, they continue to be treated, and in future the survival median shall be higher. This slide explains how to achieve prospective treatment via adequate drainage. Adequate drainage or correct drainage enables to get rid of cholangitis, uh, to normalize the somatic status of uh, our patients. Uh, this is achieved uh, via the uh, uh, photodynamic therapy and the original uh, chemotherapy. Next comes the surgery that um, uh, helps both uh, cholangitis and uh, tumor. If it's done uh, before the uh, surgery, it uh, uh, brings down the number of uh, R0 resections. In case of good uh, biological response, uh, transplantation of liver is possible. It's not by chance that you have circles around these arrows. Quite often, the patients remain in this area. Because of the recurrent cholangitis, we cannot pr continue with treating these patients. 55 years, a clot skin tumor, August 2020, uh, the mechanical jaundice manifested the disease, ECOC-3, uh, um, uh, the local uh, in service uh, installed uh, outside colon cholangio uh, Drainage. He reaches uh, ECOC 4 status and he is refused to be taken by the local uh, medical service uh, because it's uh, non resectable. Uh, we installed um, bilateral uh, external uh, uh, colander draining and uh, uh, his status has normalized. Uh, and uh, Bella, Ru Bella Rubin reached uh, uh, the uh, required level and just in two cycles of photodynamic therapy, phototherapy together with regional therapy, um, we see the reduction of biological activity to 170 mE per millimeter and it allowed uh, for the surgery uh, for orthotopic uh, liver transplantation. ECOG status was uh, one at his uh, uh, at this time, though the drainage uh, um, intervention was uh, adequate. See, in this uh, in segment four and segment one, uh, after hepatectomy, cholangitis was cholangitis uh, past cholangitis was still present. Uh, it just didn't manifest it clinically. Conclusions: uh, MRI and uh, uh, MCT allow, uh, prior to cholangio draining allows uh, to find uh, the um, the limits. Uh, and intervention radiology is the uh, leading and possible, sometimes the only diagnostic methods to treat uh, clot skin tumor and its complications and only adequate draining uh, with uh, regular control and uh, morphological verification is allowed to start uh, the cholangitis therapy. Uh, combi the combination of um, uh, several methods uh, um, allows uh, for safe and efficient uh, comprehensive treatment uh, with uh, adequate drainage for ducts uh, and control cholangitis. Uh, um, Introductile um, method uh, for a tumor impact uh, is uh, um, 
uh, a safe method so when there are complications. Uh, further studies are needed uh, for uh, prospects for palliative methods like brachiotherapy, radiotherapy, immunotherapy, and target therapy in these patients. Uh, six, a resection of uh, liver is the radical treatment both for tumor and uh, chronic colon cholangitis. Um, well, OTP is um, still uh, discussed, uh, liver transplantation, but we think uh, um, is uh, the last stage uh, for successful treatment for such patients. Thank you.